you unlock this door with the stench of desperation. Beyond is a voice, a voice of reason, a voice of guidance, and a voice of superior intellect. You're moving into the land of both knowledge and wisdom, of insight and entertainment. You've just crossed over into the Workplace Zone. Welcome to the Workplace Zone, everybody, wherever you may be. If you have to work for a living, and I know you do, you need to be working in the zone, and that's where we come in. Team Zone is clocked in and on duty. No easy answers or topics when it comes to you and your workplace, but that's okay. The good doctor is in, and I am here to help. I am your host, Dr. J. Lamar Gray. Now it's time for the Workplace Zone Gallery, where Miss Ellie Cat interviews innovators and leaders in the fine arts workplace. Hi, Miss Ellie Cat. Hello, Dr. J. How are you? I'm wonderful. It's good to have you back another week. Another week is fantastic to be back. You're doing a fabulous job. We're getting great reviews. Thank you. Critical, critical acclaim well, for I your have, interviews. I've had some pretty fantastic guests. Who do you have this week? I have someone I'm really excited about, Jessica. Um, I'm just going to let you introduce yourself, my dear. So oh, okay. tell us a little bit about who you are and what you do. Well, hello. Uh, my name is Jessica, and I had a long career in television. And What did you do in television? Uh, I did everything, actually. I shot uh, footage, and I edited, and I did motion graphics, and I even did some on-camera stuff. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah. And what are you doing now? So um, then I had twins. And, after and they're my beautiful. Twins, thank you. And after my twins were born, uh, I ended up doing videography part-time and uh, I sort of took my hobby which was dancing and I'm changing that now into a second career. Oh that is so wonderful that you're turning your passion into your new I don't say work because when you love what you do it isn't work but right your new career like you said taking you to the next level. What inspired you to get into belly dancing? Well, I've been a lifelong dancer. Uh, I started dancing when I was four, and I took uh, ballet, jazz, and tap. I was just going to say. Yes. <laughs> and uh, in college, I had a friend who was also a dancer and had a theater background like me, and she uh, took up belly dancing, and I saw her dance, and I thought, that's something I really want to do. So it was kind of in the back of my mind. Mm -hmm. And uh, a few years later, I, I took a class, and I loved it. And so even though I had a dance background, I, I've really transitioned into a belly dancer. And I've been doing it steadily now since 2009. But I think that's what's so great about belly dancing, is that all of us dancers, can <laughs> it just kind of naturally leads into getting into the fluid, flowy, accepting of the female form dance. Oh, definitely. It's a, it's a very accepting dance uh, versus ballet, which you have to be a certain type. Right. And it, it's not as embracing as belly dance, which really does say, you know, you can be any woman, any size, anybody. I mean, really, even, even men. But, uh, but it is an embracing of the female form, which is great. So I'm not going to age you. Um, but you said you were a lifelong dancer, and you then later got into belly dancing and Eastern dancing. So what? how did that transition change you as an artist? How, how did that... Um, well, I, I did perform as a child um, because I, I was at a school that did a lot of musical theater, which was great. And uh, because I had that dance background, I, I did a lot of shows... But it wasn't until I was an adult um, that I started doing performing as a belly dancer. And, and how I, long did you train before you started performing? Well, I took belly dance classes off and on a lot. So I took them starting around 2001, and then I'd take them when I had time. Mm -hmm. And I did little shows here and there. But it wasn't until around 2009 that I started really performing a lot. And you're performing with the troupe now, correct? Uh, yes, I've actually performed now with three troops. Uh, the first troupe I performed with was called Kristen and the Jewels of the Dance. Oh, that's lovely. And then uh, the second troupe was Thea and Rock's Euphoria, which I'm now the assistant director of, and I, I perform with them steadily. 
And I've also danced with Davila and Sekhmet Dance Company. So is there, and that's a professional troupe. Is there a way that, is this stuff on YouTube? Is there Facebook? Is there a way that we can see some of these performances? Yes. Um, I just started a YouTube channel for Jessica Belly Dance. So it doesn't have a great URL yet because apparently now you have to have 100 subscribers to have your own name on it. But, um, but I do have videos up on that YouTube channel. And then my, my other YouTube channel, which was the original one I started with my videography mm-hmm. and also has some belly dance on it, so it's sort of more of an artist channel, is uh, youtube.com slash multijhouston, H-O-U-S-T-O-N. Fantastic. Jessica, thank you so much. It was so inspiring to chat with you. I love the fact that you've made your transition from television to mom to now mom dancer. Yes. That's exactly what the Workplace Zone Gallery is all about, highlighting our community artists that are producing art and creating it and not necessarily elitist and exclusive it's, right. it's for everybody it's for all of us and, and you're I'm doing starting it thank up you. my own belly dance class which actually yes. starts today oh, that's so exciting so in and the where's city this? of west covina okay um at cameron community park my class starts today at 10 a.m oh that's so exciting I'm excited so about anybody that. can just show up and yeah sign it's up? multi-level so beginners intermediate uh anyone is welcome okay and uh, i'm very excited about it how about it dr j you want to come to class today at 10 uh, yeah, I can make that. Now, did you say, Jessica, everybody, all sizes, belly dance? Yes. So, yes. I mean, literally all sizes? Yes. yes. Like And about ages, all ages, too. 300-pound, yes. 80-year-old people? I, mm-hmm. I know people who are in their 70s who are, are dancing, so absolutely. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, I got to see this. I got to <laughs> see this. We have your information. Thank you so much for coming. Miss Ellie Cat. Wonderful, as always. Oh, thank you, Dr. J. It's wonderful to be here. See you next time. See ya. That's going to do it for another wild ride in the worldwide workplace. If you have questions, comments, or criticism, I dare you. You can reach me at Dr. J at theworkplacezone.com. Tweet me, Dr. J underscore writes, W-R-I-T-E-S, or Facebook.com slash Workplace Zone. Thank you, Team Zone. Kia Ham, Coach TM. Dr. Chad, Dr. Jack, Miss Ellie Cat, and her Workplace Zone Gallery guest this week, Jessica, and our VIP Zone guest this week, Mr. Ken D's of Ken D's Jeans, and our super producer, the grizzled two-fisted veteran, the jazz man, James Graves. And most importantly, thank you that download and log on every week or seven days a week. It's been a pleasure, and the pleasure was all yours. Ladies and gentlemen, you are now leaving the Workplace Zone.